Hello and welcome to the Weight Pain Survival Kit. I will talk about solving some of the most common issues with waiting characters or attachments. The tutorial is made with Blender 2.63. And I use the Avastar armature, but if you prefer you can use your own armature as well. My working item will be the simple dress which I have created in the mesh attachments tutorial. But before we rig the dress, we first will apply the shrink wrap modifier, so that we have a clean and easy to handle starting point. So, we now have to solve two problems. First we have to attach the dress to a rig, or in blender slang, we have to parent the dress to an armature. And then we have to add the bone weights. The bone weights define exactly how the mesh reacts to the bone movements of the armature. Normally you will rig your model first, and then define the weighting in the next step. But with Avastar we have the option to copy the weights from the Avastar default character to our own mesh. When you select the rig and the dress both together, then you find the weight copy tool in the tool shelf. Now just call the weight copy tool and your mesh is already weighted. This works reasonably well, at least as long as our mesh has a similar shape like the Avastar mesh. Now, the only remaining task is to parent the dress to the armature. Remind that the armature and the dress both need to be selected. Then you find the rigging tool directly below the weight copy tool. Click on, parent to armature, and that's basically all you need to do. Now our dress is rigged and weighted. So let's try it out. Select the armature. Go to pose mode. Now select the green bones one by one with a right click, move them around, and check if the weighting works well for your model. Well, a closer look shows that the mesh is weighted, but it does not work as nice as we might have expected. So we have to check and possibly modify our weights. Please ensure that your viewport shading is set to solid. Otherwise you will not see the weights on your mesh. Keep the armature in pose mode. Now select the dress, and go to weight paint mode. The dress appears in blue, and this indicates that there are no weights defined for the selected bones. So what is going on here? Actually we currently see only about one third of the entire armature. The green bone controllers do not carry any weight information, and the second life bones are currently not visible. So here is the trick how to change that. Go back to object mode. Then select the armature. Locate the object data properties section. And in the rig display section enable the visibility of the SL bone set. In the display section enable X-ray, so that you can see the bones through the mesh. And also select display mode, stick. Now the second life skeleton appears in dark blue. I personally do not like that color scheme because it is sometimes very hard to see the bones in weight paint mode. So I often switch the color to theme 09, a bright yellow. Now select the mesh again. And go back to weight paint mode. When you now click on the SL bones then you actually toggle between the second life bone and its bone controller. And only when the SL bone is selected, the weights get visible. But there is another issue here. If you want to change the pose while weight painting your model, you must use the control bone. Hence you end up by frequently changing between using the control bones for posing and using the SL bones for waiting. Here is a trick how you can work only with the SL bones. Select the armature again. Go to the object data properties, and locate the bone visibility controllers. Now hide all control bones. Keep the armature selected and look into the tool shelf. There you find the armature editing tool. Unlock SL bone locations and rotations. And be sure that you have unlocked both. 
Now the SL bones can be transformed. Well, while you are weight painting you apparently only want to use rotations. But you must be aware that the bones can now also be freely moved around. Unfortunately you cannot unlock rotations alone and simply keep the translations locked. Because then the rig's forward kinematic starts getting crazy. Note that you always can reset your armature into the T-pose, by using Alt-R and Alt-G, for cancelling the rotations and the translations. And please remember one important point. When you are done with your weight painting, then you should lock the rotations and translations again. As soon as you lock the SL bones, they snap back to where the control bones are. From now on the SL bones follow the movements of the control bones again, and now all is well. So, are you now ready to improve your manual waiting skills? Then just advance to the next part of this tutorial and get ready for takeoff.